guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, hello, my name is Sam. Today, I played with this giant box that was sent to me from Revlon. This video is not sponsored, however, they did send me all these goodies to play with, but they're not paying me to say any of this. These are all my honest thoughts. So, if you want to see how I created this look and my thoughts on all the new 2018 products, just keep watching. Hi guys, so I have been super excited for this video and I just want to dive right in. So Revlon sent me this gigantic box. It's literally like half the size of me. I don't even, I can't show it all on camera, it's too big. But it has a top row and a bottom row full of lots of new products that they're coming out with in 2018. And this is only the first half, so... Hopefully I'll get the second half and I can make another one of these videos. Let me just clarify, this isn't a sponsored video. Uh, they did send me all of these goodies, but they're not paying me to talk about it. I'm doing this all on my own. So in that package, it came with this Revlon book and it's basically got all the info for everything in it. I guess the best way to do this is for every product I use, I can pull it up on this book and tell you a little bit of info about it. I'm going to start with my brows today because this is what I normally do and you guys will be seeing my full face trying all these products out. I sent four different brow kits and I'm choosing the one in 102 dark brown. Uh, they also have a soft brown, soft black, and a blonde. But I think this looks like what I would normally go with. It comes with a teeny tiny little spoolie and a small little brush as well. And then we have a wax, I believe, and then just the brow powder. I'm also going to be using their brow mousse. This has a little lid and it's like a spoolie basically. And then I'm assuming that you just like twist it up from the bottom and the product will come out, but we'll test that in a few minutes. If I end up not liking it, I'll just use my brow pomade, but we're going to give this a shot. So I'm taking the tiny little spoolie and just gonna brush through my brows. The little brush is dual ended and it looks to be the same brush on both sides. So that's cool, you can use one for the wax and then one for the powder. So I'm just picking up some of the wax. This is so tiny, I don't think I like how tiny it is. I'm just gonna like that through my brows. So now I'm just picking up some of the brow powder. Right off the bat, I do like this color. It's pretty similar to what I would normally use, but I do not like that brush. It's not really skinny enough. I feel like it can't be precise with it. I don't know, I'm just, I'm not liking that. I think what I'm gonna do though is fill in my brows with my brow pomade like I normally would and then I'll go over the top with this brow powder because I've been setting my brows with the powder and then the gel afterwards anyways so let's do that I'm gonna fill in my brows real quick and I'll be right back okay I feel much more me with brows on I'm just gonna put some of that brow powder on the tail of my brow now for the brow mousse. You can see where it's coming through on the spoolie. It's like on the sides. Um, I'm afraid this is going to put like way too much product in my brow. But let's give it a shot. It looks pretty good. It's not super noticeable, but I think if you use this alone in your brow, like if you didn't feel like filling in your brow or something, this would be really good. I forgot to even tell you guys what it says in the book about the brow kit. Um, Basically, it's all the same stuff that I just said, uh, but it does say it provides up to 24 hour wear. So the powder is made to be used wet or dry. And it will be $12.99, available in drugstores and mass retailers nationwide. For the brow mousse, uh, again, up to 24 hour wear, waterproof formula, it wears all day without smearing or smudging. And it comes in five colors, blonde, soft brown, auburn, dark brown, and soft black. I use the shade dark brown. Moving on, I want to do my skin because this came with new foundations and I've been very excited to try them out. I've been waiting. I've had this package for almost a week now, but I've been waiting to use it with you guys to show you what I think of it and everything. 
Um, so I'm going to do that before I do my eyes today. Before I put on the foundation, I'm going to prime slash moisturize with my First Aid Beauty Coconut Skin Smoothie Priming Moisturizer. I've been really loving this lately. I'm also going to fill in my pores with this Beauty Shield Primer from e.l.f. I've been using this product literally for months and I just I love it. Nothing else fills in my pores as good as this product does from what I've tried anyways. And it's lasted me so long. I keep thinking any day now this is going to run out, but it, it's literally lasted me so long. Next, I'm also going to use this Revlon Photo Ready Prep Set Refresh mist I guess it's like a setting spray but you can also use it before your foundation and everything to give your skin some hydration Woo. oh no the squirt on this is not really a mist it's more of a I don't know like a raindrop so just a little warning for you guys all right, now for the part I've been waiting for, the foundation. Let's go ahead and read about it before we apply it this time. It's the Revlon Photo Ready Insta Filter Foundation. Let's see. It's built in with a blender that makes it easy to create a flawless finish anytime, anywhere. I will be trying that out. If I don't like it though, I'm gonna switch to my beauty blender. The innovative formula mimics the effects of app filters for a, perf for a picture perfect look. The formula with high definition filter technology captures and transforms light to create a soft focus effect. Um, key features, it says unique built-in blender, it sh its shape fits the curve of your face to help apply your foundation. The sponge is treated with an anti-microbial. Innovative formula works with your skin type and texture to even and smooth skin while high definition filter technology blurs and softens imperfections so that skin looks flawless in any light. Medium buildable coverage, I like that. Uh, fresh face natural finish, all day wear. It comes in 12 shades and it will be $17.99. It's kind of pricey for a drugstore foundation. I don't know about you, but I've always thought porcelain was lighter than ivory, but ivory is the lightest shade. So let's try that. This is the sponge. It has a little hole where the product will come out of. Okay, we've got product. So, I'm just gonna do this color. Looks like it mm, might be a little light. I already have a feeling I'm not gonna like this sponge. I already don't like this sponge because I feel like you have to just drag it. Like, it's not squishy enough like a beauty blender where you like would blend it all in. So, I'm gonna go ahead and use my beauty blender. I also just remembered that they also sent some color correctors and I've been using those because I ran out of mine and I just wanted to try it um, and they're pretty good but I can't show you because I've already started my foundation so sorry but I'll use them in a future video so far I really do like how this foundation is looking all right we're definitely gonna try and build this up some though because I had a pimple right there and it was still peeking through I definitely think it did oxidize. It kind of has like a very pink undertone, I'd say. Overall, I think I like it. It feels good on my skin. It doesn't really feel cakey or anything. Moving on, they didn't send any concealer with this package. I am gonna keep it drugstore though. I'm gonna use my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. What shade is this in? Uh, this is in Fair. I'm just gonna speed through this since this isn't what you guys are here for. All right, so I went ahead and set my face. I used my airspun powder. Again, that is drugstore. And I contoured, but I couldn't find any of my drugstore contour palettes or anything like that. So I went ahead and used my Pure Cosmetics. So next we're gonna move on to eyes. They sent me an eyeshadow primer that I'm going to be using. So I'm just taking some and I'm gonna put that on my eyelid. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you that I don't like these kind of um, eye primers. I just much prefer using concealer. It is kind of drying down, so I might take that back. I thought it was gonna stay super like greasy feeling. Let me see what the little book here 
says about the primer. It says, designed with color stay technology for all day vibrant color. Increased proof wear. Formula wears up to 24 hours. Infused with Shea butter. Care complex. I don't know if you say that as Shea or Shea, but you know what I mean. Non-drying, non-greasy. Oflamad. Ophthalmic? Tip for easy hygienic application. I have no idea how to say that word. Uh, one universal shade works on all skin tones. Tip, pair with Revlon Color Stay 16 hour eyeshadow quads for best results. And it is $8.99. So they sent me eight different eyeshadow quads. Um, they're all very neutrally kind of colors. So I don't know if I want to use those because I also got another package from Revlon like the day after I got this and I guess maybe this is new stuff coming out as well but they're colorful right up my alley so there's this one two three four five little palette thingy and it's the colors in this look really pretty especially with the light shining on it right now it's because they have like glitter in them so yeah those are yeah, no mattes are in those. They're all glittery, but they're very pretty. And then they also sent me this palette. It is quite a bit scratched up looking. Not quite sure why that is, but it's colorful and not neutral tones. And if you know me, I would choose colorful over neutral every day of the week. Probably not going to do anything like super crazy or anything. I'm just going to keep it kind of basic, but with color. So I'm gonna go in with this pink shade. I'm gonna start in the crease with this. I'm just building it up and blending it out a good bit. Next I'm gonna take this purple. Take this right in the crease as well. Start deepening it up. It's not too bad, it's not the best, but it's definitely pigmented. It's just a little bit harder to blend out. I'm gonna go in with some more of that pink shade you guys i just realized that this is for your lips it's a lip powder um i kind of want to go ahead and use it on my eyes though um i guess i'm gonna be guinea pig and i'll just let you guys know if this irritates my eyes at all i didn't even show you guys so i just used this one in the middle and i'm gonna go in with that purple one I'm going to place that in my outer corner. I'm going to use this one as well. And I'm going to put that in my inner corner. I'm so sick of my camera dying. And I just, it doesn't like let me know at all. But as I was saying, I'm pretty sure that eye primer is super good. Because I'm kind of having to work for the pigmentation under my eye a little bit more than I was up top. Also, just a little FYI, these have a good bit of fallout, so you might want to put powder down or do your eyes first. I'm going to take that purple now. Okay guys, so they did send quite a few different colors of their liners. But I'm going to be honest, I know I'm not going to like this. It's the little roller kind. And I already have uh, one of these from MAC. It looks literally identical down to the packaging and all. Um, and I just don't like it. It's really difficult to use. I think it's a cool idea. But I just, I personally don't like it. So I'm not going to be using those. And I'm kind of sad because there's a really cool teal color. But I, I don't even, like, I just know I'm going to mess up my makeup if I even try to use those. So I'm not going to. I do want some liner though. So I think I'm just going to take this brow kit, and this was the one in soft black. And I'm just going to use the little brush it comes with. I'm also going to add just the tiniest bit to my outer lash line. So they have two new highlighters coming out, highlighter quads. Um, we have the Sunlit Dream. Very pretty. There is like this green looking one which is kind of interesting and then we have their galaxy dream one again there's another green one i was kind of expecting a pink one 
in one of these. Anywho, I think I'm gonna use the Galaxy Dream one and go in with this shade. I don't believe these are named at all. Okay, I see a little something. I just had to work for it. I can't tell, there might be like a slight pinkish hue to this um, highlighter. This isn't bad at all, it just has to be kind of built up, so maybe if you like for your highlight to not be blinding, this would be good, but on the occasion that you do want it to be blinding, you can build it up. Keeping things drugstore, I'm using my Maybelline Total Temptation Mascara. I don't think I have any drugstore lashes though at the moment. But if you're looking for some good ones, our Dell Wispies are pretty great. Actually, I think I like this look without lashes, so I think I'm going to pass on them. And we're going to move on to lips. So they came out with some lip creams. These are the tubes. Um, there's quite a few more colors down there. But these are the two I'm trying to decide between. I think this is too peachy, but this looks like a really pretty color. Oh wait, these are plumping lip creams. Cool. Um, this is in the shade Fresh Petal 520. I'm going to line my lips not with a drugstore pencil because I don't think I have any. This is the Huda Beauty Trophy Wife uh, lip pencil. Alright, let's test this out. So it's like a squeezy bottle. Please don't come out with way too much. Okay, it came out slowly. So my lip liner is way too dark, so we're gonna have like an ombre kind of thing. So first impression, the color's really pretty. I think it'll be super pretty on its own, like without the liner or without a dark liner. But as an ombre, it worked really well. Alright you guys, I think this is it. I've used pretty much everything. I think the only things I didn't use is their nail polishes, which are really pretty. They're kind of like iridescent looking. I'm excited to try those out. Um, I also forgot that there was a lip primer that I could use first and the color correctors But I'll use those in a future video because I really like those. So final thoughts. Let's see foundation um, I like it. It's not bad I think it oxidized a tiny bit, but it feels pretty nice and the coverage is pretty good um, brows I like the powder. I won't use it on my own just because I like to use a brow pomade, but I think if you were just trying to fill in your eyebrows a little bit, um, that would work really good, especially for people who already have like full brows and just need that little bit to fill them in. I like the brow gel as well. It feels pretty good. The eyeshadows, I couldn't tell you how the quads work because I didn't use any of them. I honestly, being completely honest, don't really see myself using these at all. I'm probably going to either put them towards a giveaway or give them to my mom or my grandma or my sister. So I'm probably not going to use this, but I did like this palette. Um, I'd like to try it again with the other colors because this blue right here is very pretty. This, I don't think I would even want to use this on top of the lip cream because, I don't know, I think I'd want this over a matte liquid lipstick or something. but. As an eyeshadow, it was really great. Um, my eyes feel fine, but if you decide to get it and use it for your eyes, be careful because you never know what kind of irritations you might cause. Um, I really like the primer, the eye primer. I think that worked really well because like, this is really pigmented, especially compared to the um, lower lash line. I kind of struggled to get pigmentation there. But that also could have been all the powder I've used and everything from baking. What else? Am I missing anything? Oh, the highlight. Not gonna lie, it's not my favorite. If you're wanting more of a subtle highlight, but you can also build it up at times, I'd recommend it. But like compared to like Glazed Donut from Ofer Cosmetics or Pillow Talk, like nothing compares to those. I kind of wish the colors were a little bit different. I don't know why there's two green ones because I feel like people aren't really going to use a green highlighter. But they're not bad palettes. The Photo Ready Prep Set Refresh. Maybe it just takes a few squirts. Okay, that's much more misty. The first time I used it, it was like raindrops on my face and it got in my eyeball. Um, but I'll use it now. 
We had one big splash on my lip, but the rest is very misty. Okay, that's actually good. So I take back what I said earlier. Just give it a few squirts before you put it on your face and there's, yeah, it's literally dripping off my lip. So overall, everything seems to be pretty good. I wouldn't really say I disliked anything in particular. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Also check out my Instagram, I'll have it right here on the screen. And I will see you guys next time, bye.